Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring trunks. Now, this video is from uh, CCNA routing and switching module 2. In this packet tracer activity, we are going to uh, verify VLANs and uh, we are going to configure trunks. We will come to uh, part 2 1 verify VLANs. Uh, display the current VLANs. On S1, issue the command that will display all VLANs configured. There should be 10 VLANs in total. Notice how all 24 access ports on the switch are assigned to VLAN 1. We will come to S1. Enable, we are going to show VLAN. Here we can see uh, the VLANs. Uh, we have by default VLAN 1 and uh, we have other VLANs so 10, 20, 30, 88 and 99. Once we count all these VLAN, we can see uh, uh, total 10 VLAN. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And also we can see these uh, uh, five VLAN uh, created manually on S2 and S3 uh, display and verify all the VLANs are configured and assigned to the correct switch port according to the addressing table yes uh, we will come to S2 and S3 and uh, we will uh, verify uh, VLANs in this topology we can see VLAN 10 is assigned to um, the port to fast Ethernet 0 slash 11 on S2 and S3 and VLAN 20 is assigned to fast Ethernet 0 slash 18 on both switches and VLAN 30 is assigned to uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 6 on S2 and S3. We will verify on uh, S2. Enable show VLAN brief. Yes, here we can see uh, VLAN 10 is uh, assigned to port fast Ethernet 0 slash 11, uh, 20 is assigned to fast Ethernet 0 slash 18, and 30 is assigned to fast Ethernet 0 slash 6. Now we will come to S3. Okay. Enable show VLAN brief. Yes, here also we can see VLAN 10 is assigned to uh, interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 11, 20 is assigned to 0 slash 18 and 30 is assigned to 0 slash 6. Now we will come to uh, step 2, verify loss of connectivity between uh, PCs on the same network. Although PC1 and PC4 are on the same network, they cannot ping one another. This is because the ports connecting the switches are assigned to VLAN 1 by default. In order to provide connectivity between the PCs on the same network and VLAN, trunks must be configured. Now we will uh, check the connectivity between PC1 and PC4. So coming to PC1. I am going to ping to PC4 172.17.10.24 Here we can see we are not getting the reply even though uh, these two uh, PCs are in the same network. Yes. Now we will come to uh, part 2, configure uh, trunks. So configure trunking on S1 and use uh, VLAN 99 as the native VLAN. Configure uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and uh, 0 slash 2 interfaces on S1 for uh, trunking. Yes, we will configure this now. We will come to uh, S1. Yes. Enable configure terminal uh, here we are going to uh, the interface interface of, uh, we are going to uh, consider two interfaces that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 uh, so together we can select with the help of range 
uh, gigabit ethernet to zero slash one hyphen two yes now we are going to convert these ports to a uh, trunk mode switch port the mode as trunk yes next is uh, configure vlan 99 as the native vlan for uh, g01 and g02 uh, interfaces uh, on s1 yes we will come to uh, s1 again and we are going to set the native vlan 99 so we have to give uh, switch port trunk native vlan 99 yes yes now uh, the trunk port takes about a minute to become active due to a spanning tree uh, click fast forward time to speed the process after the ports become active uh, you will periodically receive the following uh, syslog message so uh, vlan mismatch discovered yes so we can give this a uh, fast for forward time and also we can see this uh, native vlan uh, mismatch discovered uh, on this uh, interface we can uh, check this uh, mismatch uh, uh, message uh, on this s1 yes here we can see that native vlan mismatch discovered on gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 so this uh, native uh, vlan we have to uh, set uh, on s2 and s3 also uh, as 99 uh, you configured uh, vlan 99 as the native vlan on s1 however s2 and s3 are using vlan 1 as the default native vlan as indicated by the syslog message yes although you have a native vlan mismatch pings between pcs on the same vlan are now successful why now we will ping from pc1 to pc4 uh, i mean from the same network so here i am going to ping uh, to 10.24 yes here we can see we are getting the replay i'm going to ping from pc2 uh, to pc5 ping 172.17.20.25 yes here also we are getting the replay and uh, we'll go to pc3 ping 172.17.30.26 here also we are getting the replay yes here we can see uh, pings are successful uh, because uh, trunking has been enabled on s1 uh, dynamic uh, trunking protocol that is a uh, dtp uh, has automatically negotiated the other side of the uh, trunk links uh, i mean this case s2 and s3 have now automatically configured the ports attached to s1 as trunking ports now we will go to uh, step 2 uh, verify trunking is enabled on s2 and s3 uh, on s2 and s3 issue the show interface trunk command to confirm that dtp has successfully negotiated trunking with s1 on s2 and s3 the output also displays information about the trunk interfaces on S2 and S3. Uh, which active VLANs are allowed to cross the trunk? We will verify this uh, with the help of a show interface trunk. First, we will come to S2. Enable show interface trunk. Yes, here we can see that the port gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is uh, in a trunking uh, mode and also we can see uh, the ports 10 20 30 uh, 88 99 first we will come to uh, s2 here we are going to give show interface uh, trunk here we can see uh, the trunking uh, port is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 also we can see vlans allowed 1 10 20 30 88 and 99 now we will come to s3 
yes so enable show interfaces trunk here also we can see the interface a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 uh, is uh, trunking and we can see the vlans allowed 1 10 20 30 88 and 99 yes here we can see uh, active vlans are allowed to cross the trunk uh, we have 10 20 30 99 now we will come to uh, step 3 uh, correct the native VLAN mismatch on S2 and S3. Uh, configure VLAN 99 as the native VLAN for the appropriate interfaces on S2 and S3. And we have to issue show interface trunk command to verify the correct native VLAN configuration. Yes, we will do this now. Now we are going to uh, configure VLAN 99 as the native VLAN on S2 and S3. And here we can see uh, we have to set on the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on S2 and uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 on S3. First we will come to S2. Here we are going to uh, configure terminal and to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. And we are going to set switch port uh, trunk uh, native VLAN as 99. Yes, and uh, we got the message uh, unblocking gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on VLAN 0 0 0 1 port consistency restored. Yes. Now we will do it on uh, S3. So here we can see the mismatch, VLAN mismatch on net, net, I mean native VLAN mismatch. So now uh, it, here it is, uh, uh, we can see a native VLAN is 1, we have to set to 99. So configure terminal, uh, we are going to the interface gigabit ethernet to 0 slash 2. And we are going to uh, set uh, native VLAN, uh, switch port the trunk native VLAN 99. Now we have to get the message consistency restored. Yes. Now we will uh, verify uh, each switches uh, coming to S2. We'll verify using show interfaces trunk. Now we can see the native VLAN set 99. Also, we will verify on S3. Show interfaces a trunk. Yes, here also we can see the native VLAN set 299. Now we will come to the last step. Verify configurations on S2 and S3. Uh, show uh, the sh uh, I mean issue the show interface interface switch port command to verify that the native VLAN is now 99. Yes, already we verified these two uh, on uh, uh, S1 and S2. Use the show VLAN command to display information regarding configured VLANs. Why is port gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 on S2 no longer assigned to VLAN 1? Okay, we will uh, check on uh, S2. Here we can see a small mistake uh, uh, that is on S2. Uh, this port uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is no longer assigned. Actually not gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2. If it is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2, uh, it is on S3 uh, no longer assigned to VLAN 1. Uh, we will check it. We will come to S2. Enable show VLAN and here we can see gigabit Ethernet 0 slash uh, 1 is uh, not uh, listed in this. Also, we will uh, check on S3 show VLAN. Here we can see gigabit Ethernet 0 slash uh, 2 is uh, not showing in this list. Yes. Uh, why these ports, I mean gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on S2 and gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 on S3 uh, is not displayed. Uh, it is a trunk port and trunk ports are not displayed. 
a small packet tracer activity but most interesting activity uh, that is uh, configuring uh, trunks friends if you have any doubt regarding uh, configuring trunks vlans or even in ccna routing and switching please comment below subscribe the channel uh, to get uploading video information stay tuned thank you